Hi guys, my name is Gunnar Jemskull and welcome to a walkthrough of the Sims Freeplay It's All Going Swimmingly quest. This quest becomes available at level 13 and it is part of the main quests within Sim Free Sims Freeplay. So that means that you will have to complete previous quests before you are able to complete this one. So it could be that you are past level 13 and you still haven't had this pop up. But as soon as you are able to do this quest, you will get this pop-up. So it's a time-limited quest of two days, so that means we're going to get a prize just for completing the quest, and also a prize for completing it within the two days. So the pop-up says, get ready to send your sims diving headfirst into the water. Complete this quest to gain access to swimming pools and a new diving hobby for your sims. So the prize for just completing this hobby is to unlock the swim centre and the ability to add swimming pools to your sims backyards. If you complete it within the two day time limit, we will unlock a volleyball net for the swimming pools. So let's get started. The first thing we need to do is to build the swim centre. Phew, it's hot out there. Sintown is missing something. A public swimming pool. Luckily, there's one on the south of the town map, ready to be built. Running low on simoleons, there are some great bargains in the online store. So if you head out onto your town map and come down to the south of the map, the swimming centre is here. It looks like somebody doing like the butterfly or something and it will be flashing for you, but that's what it looks like. Go ahead and click on it and for me, this is going to take 12 hours and 45 minutes. It's going to cost 20,000 and I need to have 8 sims. It says the swimming centre is a great place for your sims to get together swim in the pool and improve their diving skills. Those requirements may be completely different for you depending upon how many buildings you've already built within your town because they just gradually get more expensive. So if you've got more buildings built than me, it might be more expensive than this. The swim centre has now finished building. You will get a pop-up to tell you that it's finished building once it has finished. But when it is finished, it will be flashing like that. Just go ahead and click on it. And that is task complete, build the swim centre. The next thing that we need to go ahead and do is to send a sim to the swim centre. It's finished, send a sim to the swim centre. Let's check this place out. So go ahead and click inside your swim centre and then you can whistle over a sim. And that's task complete, send a sim to the swim centre. Now we need to admire the swim centre slide. Wow, this place is awesome. They even have Wumples, the water safe bunny, and a slide here for their grand opening. I love Wumples. He's a bit weird, I think, but I love him in an odd kind of way. Or her. Is Wumples a boy or a girl? Let me know down in the comments what you think. Anyway, we need to admire the spiral slide. So come over here and admire the slide for four seconds. Oh, look, there we go. She's admiring it. Wow, look at the slide. It's amazing. Task completed. Admire the slide. Now we need to look at diving board apprehensively. Your sim looks nervous, but what could be wrong? They must be scared of the water because they've never seen a pool before. Have a sim look at the diving board with extreme apprehension. So there are four diving boards at the swim centre. So just go ahead and click on one and look apprehensively for one minute. We finished looking at the diving board apprehensively. Now we need to go ask Wumples for advice. Your sim can't stay scared all day and expect to go emotionally. Maybe Wumples, the water safe bunny, can give them some advice and a little extra life experience too. Have a sim, ask Wumples for advice. So Wumples will be at the front of your swim centre here, doing a little uh, twisting and a little dance out there. So go and ask advice for six minutes. We have finished asking Wumples for advice, now we need to supervise in a lifeguard chair. Wumples just gave your sim some great advice. Don't worry if anything goes wrong, there's a lifeguard who can help you. But wait, there's no lifeguard on duty. Have a sim supervise in the lifeguard chair. So find the lifeguard chair over by the pool here and click on the lifeguard chair and supervise for 6 minutes and 24 seconds. Oh, that completes straight away so you don't have to wait the six minutes if you don't want to then just go ahead and click on the sim and cross that off to cancel the action now we need to use a diving board okay now that the sim center has a lifeguard your sims are ready to use the diving board have a sim perform any dive from the diving board so diving is actually a hobby in sims free play so we have four different options brief leap for 10 minutes aquatic lunges for an hour discipline dive for 12 and all day dive for one day so just go ahead and do a brief leap for 10 minutes 
So once your sim has completed the dive in, they'll get an exclamation mark above the head. Go ahead and click on that and they will do a little dive into the pool. For more information about diving, as I said, it is a hobby within Sims Free Play. I have a blog post about it, so I'll link that down below if you want to know like different prizes and things you can get with the diving hobby. But that is task complete. As you can see, we have won a collectible for the diving hobby. And that is our diving board grid. We'll continue with this quest. The next thing you need to do is to look at poolside apprehensively. A sim just dared another to use the slide. They aren't sure though, it looks scary. Have a sim look at the slide with super extreme apprehension. So this slide again, the twirly side, Le yes. Look apprehensively for 10 hours and 30 minutes this time. That's a long look. We have finished looking at pool slide apprehensively. Now we need to be nice to a sim. Your sim still seems a little worried about using the slide. Time for some useful advice from a friend. Get a sim to be nice to another sim. So let's go and use the sim tracker and just call another sim over. And then click on another sim and be nice for one minute. Task complete. We have been nice to a sim. The next thing that we need to do is to use the slide. Your sim has been so distracted that they forgot all about their fear of slides. Have a sim use the slide before they lose their confidence again. Okay, let's go and use the slide for 2 hours and 50 minutes. We have finished that. The next thing you need to do is to splash a sim in a pool. Whee! Your sim just had a great idea. Splash a sim. All you need is two sims in a pool at the same time. Go on, get a sim to splash another sim. So if you haven't got two sims over, just go into your sim tracker and whistle another sim over. Make sure one of your sims is in the pool and then just click on the one that's in a pool with the other one and splash for 10 seconds. There we go, we have finished splashing a sim in a pool. The next thing that we need to do is to flip a sim in a pool. Ha! Since both your sims are still in the pool, have one flip the other one over. So just again, it's another interaction, so just click on the other sim, and that is four seconds to do this little backflip. That is pretty cool, I like that. <laughs> Here we go, task complete on that one. Now we need to chat to a sim whilst in a pool. Oh, just in case there are hard feelings, get your sim to chat to the other sim whilst in the pool. So again, it's just another interaction. Have one sim collect selected, click on the other one, and chat for four minutes. We finished chatting to the other sim. Now we need to talk to Wumpals. Wumpals looks like she has got something to say. Go and talk to her. So with one of your sims, click on Wumpals. She should be outside. And talk to Wumpals for 30 seconds. So we go task complete on that. Now we need to talk to Wumpals again. Wumpals was so excited that she said everything too fast. Ask her to repeat what she said, but slowly this time. Talk to Wumpuls slowly. So click on Wumpuls again and talk slowly to her for three minutes. We've finished chatting to Wumpuls slowly. Now the next thing is to use the slide. Wumpuls said that the home store is about to release everything you need to build swimming pools at home. Use the slide one more time to celebrate. So go back over to the slide and use the slide for two hours and 50 minutes. And that is task complete, use the slide, and that is quest complete as well, so congratulations, you can now build pools in your own home. We'll take a look at that in a second. Because we completed it within the time limit, we have unlocked the volleyball net. You can find it in the pool items of the outdoor section of the home store. We'll go and check out those prizes now. So after completing this quest, as you've just seen, we will get access to pools. So if you go to the outdoor section of the home store, you now have the options of pools and then it gives you so many more other options that you can now do. We'll just go ahead and we'll build a small pool. Different pool interiors in terms of kind of how it looks at the bottom of the pool, like the walls and stuff. And you can also change the paving around the pool. You can also change the size of the paving. So you can have one, two, three or four uh, patio around the pool. You can also have pool items which takes us into our limited time prize. So if we're completing within the time limit we won this volleyball net which costs 2,500 and we can go ahead and place that down in our pool. It's quite large as you can see four by one. 
but that then means that our sims can now play volleyball. So here's our little pool with our volleyball net. We have three different options. Quick game for two minutes, challenge for six minutes, 24, and match for 24. Let's do challenge. And then whilst that is doing with another sim, join in. And there you go. Our sims will start playing volleyball. You can have two sims playing volleyball at any one time. I like that. You will actually have to put ladders in for your sims to be able to get out. So they are actually stuck at the moment. <laughs> so if you go into your pool items, is it called? Yeah, pool items. Just make sure to place some ladders down so that your sims can get out of the, any pools that you build. The next quest that becomes available to us is the Hidden Unicorn quest. This is available at level 14. So I'll put a link on the screen once I get up to that level and complete that quest. If you want any more help with this quest, I will leave a blog post down below in the description. Click on that link and you may get some more tips or you can ask a question in the comments and either myself or another simmer might be able to help you out. But thank you so much for watching this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!